crap. Everything is coming apart. Come on, rebuild that wind temple. Hey guys, CS here. How's it going? Welcome back to more Netstorm Islands at War. Uh, now, I know nobody really asked for a second iteration of Netstorm, but I love this game so much that I really wanted to do a second half, and I'm going to finish the Struggle for Freedom campaign today. So, on to the next mission, Fragile Fortune. Uh, so you guys can read that if you want. Um, basically, we, uh, let's see, our scouts report that the enemy is taking a vulnerable path to collect storm power. Use cannons to destroy the enemy golems on their way to the geysers. All right. So let's get to it. We have a bunch of balloons here this mission. <laughs> balloons are, uh, are incredibly fun. So we're going to send all of our balloons. We can shift select these balloons and send them to the geyser to start collecting. And uh, put some knowledge into production here, like a rain generator. And yeah, it looks like sun cannons are going to be our best bet. So let's see. We're going to sneak around the back here. Actually, I don't know why I'm building bridges up here, but... <laughs> I should be building them in this direction because that's the easiest way to go. And like last time, I'm going to be cutting a lot of the uh, gameplay out just to save time. So they uh, they built a, uh, a sun disk thrower here to uh, try to attack my balloons, but <laughs> I bridged all throughout here to, to cut them off. That's the thing is sometimes you got to play this game a little bit dirty. Unit lost. Oh crap, what are you guys doing? Get back here. All my balloons are going right over the sun disk doors. So stupid. Alright, here we go with our cannon assault. Wow, okay, I'm surprised that disc is in range of the cannon. Okay. Up, oh, their temple is boom. All right, their temple is dust. Okay, so we are going to up. Oh, he just oh, crap. He's rebuilding his sun workshop, but uh, we are doing mighty well here. Now we can build all over the island. Oh wow, he just rebuilt the temple. I didn't expect that. Well, we're gonna have to destroy the temple all over again. It looks like <laughs> fifteen times over again. All right, well, we just destroyed the temple a second time, and yet again, this priest is immobilized. Yeah, we destroyed pretty much everything here. <laughs> I've got it. Aye, sir. I've got it. All right, let's bring him on back Aye, and sacrifice him on the altar. Now, actually, you can build an altar on a neutral island, so I could build the altar over here if I wanted to, but I'm just more comfortable building it uh, Aye, sir. on my home island. Also, it kind of looks like the priest is... Not even uh, standing on land right now. He's just kind of hovering. Success! You have cut a hole through the battle lines of the Dark Prince of Wind and snatched enough storm power to obliterate his forces. All right, next mission: Thundering Power. <laughs> Your ally, the Duke of Thunder, is or the good Duke of Thunder, excuse me, is being assaulted by the Marquis de Manowar. As you travel to the Duke's Island to manage its defense, one thing becomes clear. Losing this ally would leave you without power in the Thunder alignment and possibly hobble the entire war effort. So clearly this is critical for some reason. Um, <laughs> this is your chance to stop his tongue for good. Alright, let's slice his tongue, I guess. I don't know. Let's just play. So he has uh, quite a large island here. Uh, those are ice towers, by the way. Basically, ice defense towers will uh, regenerate once they're once you destroy them. They they completely regenerate over a matter of like a minute, I think. And then you have to destroy them again, <laughs> and you have to do it 15 times over again. Oh, look at this! A note arrives from the mark from the marquee. Greetings and congratulations. I s I don't know why I'm doing this voice. I see that. You have managed to deceive your people into believing that you're a capable ruler. In good faith, I feel it is my duty as a citizen of Nimbus to disabuse them of this notion by trouncing you soundly. Alright, we'll see about that. Fight on. <laughs> well, let's make sure we get our Thunder Workshop up and running, and then we can actually fight back. That would be a very good idea, wouldn't it? 
Let's keep our priest in the upper right hand corner. Sorry, upper left hand corner. Make sure he is safe. All right, put some thunder generator and a thunder cannon into production. We're gonna put one over there to be safe. And the thunder cannon requires two units of power. Oh crap, he's attacking with whirligigs too. All right, bring it on. Bring it on. Bring on the uh, all the aerial assaults. I can take it. Thunder cannons are very expensive. They require uh, a lot of storm power. As you can see, even a thousand storm power is not enough for me to build one um, thunder cannon. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go around the side and attack from that angle. A note arrives from the Marquis. Think of the families of those who will die today. Do not make widows of the good woman of your nation. Even with their men gone, they will still not turn for you for start turn I can't read. Turn to you for comfort. Shall you save those precious lives? <laughs> There's a button for surrender. Yeah, in your wildest dreams. Now as you're gonna see, Thunder Cannons have an extremely long range. So they you see, take a look at that range. It's a doozy. Look, I can attack his sun workshop from all the way back here. And that's exactly what we're going to do. All right, he's got some stuff over here. Just, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be salvaging this in the la at the last minute so he does not get a storm power bonus from destroying it. All right, let's, here we go. We're going to have to put some, uh, go all the way back here. Oh crap. Guess I better get some uh, Vander Towers in production. Okay, we're gonna upgrade the Thunder Workshop, which is also gonna repair it as well. So this is gonna completely repair the Thunder Workshop, which is an awesome thing. Alright, oh crap, we- ha ha ha! Yes, we destroyed the temple with just these two Thunder Cannons. That's pretty amazing. Okay, now let me also show you the, um, I, I think I showed you guys last time, but the Bolf is a really cool um, and very sturdy transport unit for collecting uh, priests as well as uh, storm power. So we're going to send him to start collecting more storm power. Not that we really need more storm power at this point, because we don't. Uh, we've already got this mission in the bag. Um, actually, I think this is, the, this is the fastest I've ever done this mission, I think. See, this is what I'm talking about in regards to the ice towers regenerating. They slowly <laughs> reform over time. Don't, don't ask me how that works. It's, uh, I think it's kind of a, a, a mystery how that... Yeah, the first step to getting water to flow uphill is enticing ice to melt backwards. <laughs> That's just how things work in the magical land of Nimbus. All right, so... Uh, your tactics are as transparent as the lies that hold your empire together. I don't know why he's still sending me taunts when I've already won the freaking mission. Let's put a Vander Tower into production. Now these uh, fight against the Mana War, as you will see in a moment. Now we're going to put the Vander Tower right there, and he is going to zap that Mana War out of the sky. Right, anyway, let's stop messing around and pick up the freaking priest. Oh no, my green screen is disintegrating again. Well, crap. Uh, let's see if I can... Oh, no, hold on. Before I fix my green screen, I gotta, let me get, get the bolf out of here. Run, bolf, run. <laughs> Alright, so here's an instance where I'm going to put the, um, the altar on the enemy island, just because. Well, yet another note. I see that your battle style is similar to your honor. When a real challenge arises, it always comes up lacking. <laughs> uh, let's send a reply to him. How about that? then my honor must be greater even than that of your wife. Oh, sick burn. <laughs> All right, so let's start sending this priest to the depths of hell where he belongs. Let's get another Vander Tower because there's a lot of, they're sending more mana wars this way. I imagine this is pretty chaotic, performing a sacrificial ritual like in the middle of all this chaos on the enemy island. Didn't have to do much work. Basically, the strategy here is place your thunder cannons far away, and um, they'll be able to do the job. Ah, All right, get him out of here. Get him out of here. Success, you have crushed the Marquis. Let's send him a note. 
I have heard it said that the man with the most to say is the man with the fewest lovers. Ooh. <laughs> I see in your case this is true. For you babble as if you were a thousand men and love only yourself. All right, well, we certainly showed him who is the true master of this area of the sky. <laughs> Sorry for the cringe, people. I, I do apologize for the cringe. All right, last mission before my green screen completely gives away. <laughs> it is so dark outside right now, that is why it is not working. I, need, I, I promise I will invest in an actual green screen. Tell you what, because the chroma key is starting to look so bad, I've just turned it off, and so you're just going to see a little green box around me instead for this last one. All right, Dissolved Alliance. Your ally, the Duke of Rain, has turned traitor in the midst of a furious battle along the uh, against the Dark Prince of Thunder. Now you are boxed in. Turn the tide of battle and crush the traitorous duke under your boot heel. Then teach the Dark Prince of Thunder that nothing can stop your inevitable victory. Okay, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and fight the Duke of Rain first, because he's much closer. And we are already under attack here. So we're going to have to start gathering resources ASAP. Luckily, we start with a significant amount of storm power. And uh, then we have the Duke of Thunder over here on the right. So let's make sure we put a uh, wind tower into production. And, of course, a crossbow. Crossbows are going to be our uh, ultimate friend here. Let's put one there. Put a wind tower here. Now, wind towers must be facing the right direction in order for them to have any effect whatsoever. So, we are going to go ahead and start bridging it up. Luckily, we have a nice wind tower wall on the east, which is preventing those thunder cannons from breaking through. And, uh, yeah, a lot, of the, a lot of this mission is essentially key placement of uh, crossbows. Why can't I get... I can't get the right pieces right now. This is really messing me up. Um, crap, we need to have way better defense over here. We need to start... Okay, build a wind tower here. Oh crap, I cannot build a wind tower there because there is no bridge connection. Okay, so let's put a wind tower right here. There we go. Make sure you orient it correctly. Oh boy, a lot of stuff to take care of in this mission. There's a lot, a lot of things going on at once. Oh crap, we got our wind temple. Our wind temple just exploded. Let's, re let's rebuild it. We have enough storm power to rebuild it, luckily. Oh crap, this this side is is uh, breaking quite a bit. We're gonna have to build another, replace those wind towers very soon. Good lord, let's get uh, get this, all these freaking cannons need to get out of here. Oh yes, that's what I like to see. Gigantic explosions that aren't of my units. <laughs> oh crap, things are kind of deteriorating over here. We need another wind tower. Unit lost. Guys, collect, collect. Make sure you collect. Oh crap, that was not a good, not a good place for the wind tower. Gonna have to place it a little Unit lost. more southbound. Unit lost. Unit lost. Crap. Unit lost. Just keep fighting, guys. Oh my god, we're under attack from every conceivable angle. Ah, oh, there goes the wind temple again. We're gonna have to rebuild that wind temple. We also have sun units as well. But I really want to have wind units in this mission. Oh crap. Everything is coming apart. Come on, rebuild that wind temple. I'm gonna build some bridges in the meantime. Unit lost. I do not like to hear constant unit lost. Uh, well, this is not looking very good. This is not looking good at all. That temple is about to go boom. Boom! And there it goes. Okay, I'm going to restart the mission because actually there's a much better way to go about this than what I was doing. So, Alright, so I think we're finally making some progress here. Um, <laughs> this is by no means an easy mission. In fact, this mission is more difficult than I remember it being uh, by a long shot. But uh, I think we're finally able to hold off the enemies here, and one of the strategies I used was to build just a whole lot of golems at the start for resource collection. Of course, I don't know where they all went now. Looks like they got destroyed. Yeah, so I, I had to bridge all the way around here to get to the, uh, the, uh, this guy's temple. 
And there it goes. Okay, the island is ours. Alright, so he is bound to the altar. Let the sacrifice begin. The other cool thing is that uh, we now that we've freed up this island, we have access to all of its resources. Uh, so that is really awesome. We're just going to build a whole bunch of sail skaters and send them on over. Yeah, these wind towers are super effective. Like, they, they do not take any damage as long as you have them facing the correct direction. So that's why... Direction. So that's why none of them are taking damage here. Alright, so we uh, gained a whole bunch of storm power due to that sacrifice. So now, wow, we have 11,000 storm power. Let's, let's go and wreck them with crossbows. And in all honesty, this mission may have been the reason uh, why some people gave up on Netstorm, because it is a really difficult mission. It is actually an unnecessarily difficult mission. Like, there are missions that come way after this which are so much easier, but then they stuck this one at the end of Struggle for Freedom, and I have a feeling it really turned a lot of people off to the game. Alright, here we go. We got all the money in the world, so let's just go with a giant crossbow rush. Oh, I just realized his priest is sitting over here immobilized. We can go capture it. Let's go pick up his priest. Uh, hello, I told you to construct an altar. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, golem. In all honesty, crossbows are probably one of the most effective weapons in the game. Like, a, a lot of pro Netstorm players, uh, you know, use crossbows religiously. Look at that money, 22,000 storm power that we have accumulated. For the storm! Ha 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 ha! Yes! <laughs> oh yes! Oh yes! Oh! Ah, uh, success! The traitorous duke has been crushed! You have shattered his ill-conceived alliance with the Dark Prince of Thunder. Let it be a lesson to traitors throughout your empire. Alright, so, thank you guys so much uh, for watching. Now this is the, uh, ne the mission, the next mission of the next campaign. Uh, we're not gonna be doing that now, no siree. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you did, give it a like. And uh, until next time, this is CS, signing out.